The latest Home Assistant hardware, as of this recording anyway, is here. The Home Assistant Connect ZBT2 is now out and ready for you to use for your Zigbee or Thread needs. So let's just get right into the details. So here's the ZBT2 sitting next to my ZWA2. And the ZWA2, of course, is the Z-Wave equivalent or Z-Wave version of these antennas that Home Assistant is now creating. So the difference in size here you can see is that the ZWA2 is a 900 megahertz antenna. So it's longer because the wavelength is longer. It's just physics. And then you have the ZBT2, which is a little bit shorter because it operates in the 2.4 ish range gigahertz range and therefore it requires a shorter antenna you get, a, you get the same benefits of having a full-sized antenna for each protocol but the package size is based on physics so let's get into some specifications here so here is the uh, zbt2 83 by 83 by 179 millimeters um, and then it's uh, made out of polycarbonate plastic it has the silicone labs mg24 chip and where are we at here? It is based on ESP32 S3. That's the USB to serial bridge. Um, obviously it's white and semi-transparent as you saw. Now you can actually go in there and because all of this is open source, if you wanna print your own case or whatever for it, your own enclosure, you can do that, make it whatever color you want. It's not locked down. You can take it fully apart and do what you want to with it and put it in a different case if you feel like it. So anyway, um, this supported uh, supports both Zigbee and Thread, Zigbee 3.0, but it is not compatible or it cannot run both of them at the same time. So you can use it for one or the other. The frequency range is anywhere from 2400 to 2483.5 megahertz. In Europe, it gets a full 10 dBm. In the US or rest of the world, it gets a, an 8 dBm transmit power. And the antenna, of course, is 24 millimeters in diameter, 164 millimeters in height. That's based on physics. You have a peak gain of 4.16 dBi with an omnidirectional pattern. You get in the box the antenna plus the base, a 1.5 meter USB-C cable for USB 2 or 3, a quick start guide and warranty and safety information. And if you click on the documentation link there, you can get all of the information you need about the device and a whole bunch of other resources that you can use for that. Uh, let's just go to the features real quick. I just want to talk through those. It has an optimized antenna providing the best possible connection. Obviously, it's a full uh, full wavelength antenna based on the frequency. And then it has updated Zigbee and thread chips we talked about. It has a four times improvement in adapter speed. So I was running the uh, ZBT1, which is the old SkyConnect version. I was running that prior to running the ZBT2. And the difference now is between the uh, ZBT1 or SkyConnect and ZBT2, you had a baud rate of 115, 200, and now the baud rate is 46800, so essentially four times faster. So those are the general specs and general information about the device. I'm going to take you through a really quick high-level overview of what I did to get from the SkyConnect or ZBT1 over to the ZBT2. Uh, I am running Z2, uh, Zigbee to MQTT, so depending on what you're running, your, your, your transition or migration path is going to be completely different potentially. So all I ended up doing was plugging in the ZBT2. And if you go to integrations, you'll find it, you click on add, you want to, uh, you, you either use it as thread or migrate to a Zigbee adapter. I am migrating. So I did that. I clicked on the custom for Zigbee to MQTT and then if there's another option and what it's going to go through and do now is it's going to go ahead and it's going to install the firmware and installing this, the firmware update will take a minute or two, just depending on a lot of different factors. So we'll let this complete and it'll ask you to put it into an area of your choosing. So I'll put it where it's sitting in my house and there you go. It's showing up here now in home assistant as a device. Okay. Once you have it set up in your home assistant instance and you can see the adapter and all that, now you want to go into the Zigbee to MQTT add-on and you want to change the adapter settings. So I'm going to go into the add-ons here and I'm going to look for Zigbee to MQTT and I'm going to go into configuration. And under serial, I want to change this to the new device here. So, and let me turn on my mouse highlighting for you. 
All right, here you go. So here's the dev by serial by ID USB Nabucasa ZBT2 device. And then you want to set the adapter to Easy SP. And this is the new baud rate you want to choose. It's going to be 4600, zero, zero. if I can get it bigger for you, 460800. Zero, zero. That's the baud rate that is now uh, what the ZBT2 uses and gives you that four times speed increase for the adapter. Now, if you don't know where to get your uh, port here, you can go into, I, I'm going to hit the C key, hardware. I'm going to look at hardware in my home assistant instance. I'm going to click on all hardware here and I'm going to scroll down till I find what looks like it might be the ZBT2. And so under TTY ACM zero, here is the device by serial. So what this means is this device, if you choose TTY ACM zero, the, uh, the USB ports, if you move it from one to the other could swap around and everything. So it might mess things up. It's always best to use the device by serial so that you don't have that problem. So if we look at it here, it's dev by serial by whatever, you can actually just copy this. Uh, and then you can go back over into the add-on and you can paste it in. So I'll go to add-on dashboard, back over to Zigbee to MQTT, and I will go to configuration. And if you haven't got it set already, then you'll just come in here and you'll just paste that in there. And then you would save it there. Once you do that, if you go back into MQTT, or Zigbee to MQTT, and you probably want to do a restart. You go back into MQTT once it's running. And if you go into settings, just to confirm it's the correct thing, you go settings, tools, or settings, uh, serial, and you should see easy SP baud rate 460800, and then port dev serial by ID Nabucasa ZBT2. Now, you might be able to change it in that interface directly instead of going through the add-on configuration. I can't remember if I was successful. I think I tried that. I, I didn't actually see a way to save it or it didn't update it. So I went into the adapter or the add-on settings themselves and did it there. And then did, did, then did a restart of Zigbee MQTT and it showed up. And once you do that, if everything goes well, you should see a bunch of devices that are already there. I did not have to do anything special to make this work uh, because all of the settings that I have in here, because I did it, I went directly from Z2 or Zigbee to MQTT. I just changed the serial port. I didn't have to do anything crazy to make this work. Everything just showed up in here in the, in the device list. Now I did have a couple of the battery sensor devices that I had to go just wake up. So I walked around and woke those up and everything was fine after that. So that is the new ZBT2 uh, Zigbee slash thread device should have better range. Uh, better coverage because it's a full-size antenna versus what you saw in the little Sky Connect. Uh, you know, you saw that little tiny thing. Or if you're using something that's like a USB adapter with a uh, built-in antenna, the difference in antenna is uh, is significant between the ZBT2, which is a full, you know, full height, full wavelength antenna, versus something that's a a, a, a very small fraction of that in a small adapter. Go grab you one. I've got links down below to go get these if you want to. Um, you can look at the documentation, order it from your local favorite vendor. They were $49 US and every purchase supports the open home. This is Nabucasa and the open home foundation. So, um, Nabucasa is a commercial partner of open home foundation. It contributes the majority of its profits to the foundation. So if you buy one of these, you're supporting open home foundation, open standards, uh, local only control, all the things that make smart homes successful. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and also on Discord. If you have questions specifically about the ZBT2 and need help with that, Home Assistant has a very active Discord server where you can jump in there and ask them questions directly as well. And with that, we will see you on the next one.